What's up? <clears throat> Sexy Sam Lander Squad. It's Try Hard Friday. Because I was sick yesterday. I still have a, a... Well, my throat still hurts a little bit, but I have some hot tea here. I also have a swollen uvula, and I think I've come to the conclusion that I must have some sort of winter allergy, like seasonal allergy to winter. For some reason. Uh, dude, I don't know. Doesn't matter. What does matter... Ah! Uh, what does matter <coughs> is... Two things. One, don't forget, boys, that you guys can still join to be a member on the tubes. Hold on. Actually, I want to go book this game. Book gives me a little bit of base pen now, and it kind of feels really good at the moment. But um, you can still join as a member on YouTube, as simple as clicking the join button down below under the video. It's $5 a month, but you get five extra videos a month. This month, there's only been two so far, so I do got to get on that, but... uh. I, I will, don't worry. Or maybe there's been three this month, actually. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and then, also, we're going to put a pinned comment down below for Raid Shadow Legends. Please use my link. And all I need for you boys is to use that link and try to get to level 25 for me. It takes quite a while, I'll be honest. It takes about four to five hours. But uh, if you can do it, it would really, really help me. It's a great way to support me without actually having to, you know, use your own hard-earned money. Okay. I cleared actually pretty well. Better than I thought I would. And the reason I'm playing Vulcan, by the way, is because of the fact that... Wait, you're dead here? Because of the fact that... Um, Oh my god, do I have a Maui voice pack on instead of instead of my Swagney? That is just straight up unacceptable. But anyways, the reason I'm playing Vulcan, like I was saying, because uh, last patch, it wasn't this patch, but last patch you got changed to where you can use your one while you're crippled, and it made most people recognize that he's actually a pretty good god. And I already knew he was good. I mean, obviously, I know Vulcan is... Well, has been meta in duel for quite some time. Meta is a strong word. He he's been. He's been acceptable in duel for quite some time, and um, people are actually playing him a lot more in conquest. And I thought, you know what? I haven't, I haven't genuinely like actually tried to win a game as Vulcan in quite some time, so. I'm gonna try today. Although you might see the spamming of surrendering. <laughs> that, that was because of the alt. That was not because I actually want to lose the game. Um, I got five seconds on red buff spawn. I don't think he's just gonna be standing there. He probably backed because he wants his item. This should clear, right? That's unfortunate. But I still got all six stacks for the wave, so we're chilling. I actually would rather not have red buff. I'd rather a blue buff because I feel like I feel like my mana is not great. But actually, I just got Book of Thoth, huh? So my mana is probably actually not bad. You know what? I will pick up red buff. Damn, my damage. Oh, that actually hit too. I wonder if I alt him if he if he has to alt. Where is he? Going to his blue buff. Oh, that hit him. Oh, he doesn't want a piece. Oh, you're dead. If you come over here, you die. Oh, you die anyways. Perfect. Perfect. It's actually probably worth it for me to level my, uh... Level my turret instead of my three. As... I say that as I put a point into my three, but... I think it's worth it to level my turret here because I'm pretty sure if I put some points into it, it can block more than like three or four autos from her. Which is really good. It's very, very good. Also, I, uh, I, so because this game isn't like super serious, I feel like, even though it is try hard Thursday. 
I feel like I, I don't really have to try hard to win this one. So I'm just going to talk about everything else. My wedding is in 16 days. Right? Is that right? There's 10 more days of October, including today. Then 5. 15 days. 15 days, including today. Um, <clears throat> and... I'm a little bit nervous about fitting into my, my wedding outfit. So normally you'd be like, hey, Sam, you've been dieting then, huh? And I have actually for like, you know, I've been working out a lot and I dieted for like four days. <laughs> and then yesterday I made homemade cookies, man. I gave in. I'm going to be fat for my wedding. It's okay, though. Maybe, uh... You know, here's... Okay, here's the thing. I am... I got some weight to me, all right? I'm not delusional about it. I, I'm a heavy man. Heavy set, for sure. But... But I'm also strong, and I feel like... Not that it, like forgives me for being fat because there's a lot of strong skinny people in the world <laughs> but um <clears throat> i feel like i can at least accept myself somewhat knowing that it's not you know all all blubber there's there's some strength under there somewhere it makes me feel a little bit better about it but also you know whatever your body's your body you either Choose to love it and live happy, or choose to hate it and hate yourself. So. Is what it is. That's not me saying that I'm going to stay fat forever. I would love to lose weight. I just fucked up yesterday. Can I have that? It goes through walls now, right? I think it does. I think I just missed that. Why did you banish those minions? Did I miss my one? Dude, what is wrong with me right now? Why are you, like, trying to bait me? You realize you can't, right? Like... Oh. I had to sneeze. Sorry. Jeez Louise. Um, I don't have my curtains open, so it's actually a little dark. I'll have to open them in between this game and next game. I'm a little surprised he hasn't surrendered yet. But uh, I'm doing so much damage. Like, I'm double stacking right now. And just... Actually nuking. Like, actually doing so much damage. He's a Genji's, too. I'm actually kind of curious. Has he done any damage to me this game? <laughs> oh, you are low. I think you die here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> there are, you know what's insane to me? There are games I have against, like, really, really, really good GM players where I'm 4-0 at 8 minutes. And the difference is so crazy. Oh, hello. Because against this player, like, I am 4-0, but I don't really... I'm going to get that blue buff, aren't I? Oh. I don't really have to try too hard. It just kind of comes to me, you know? But uh, against 
the other players, right? I have to try hard, and I'm 4-0, right? I have the same scoreline, but the stress is incredibly different. I think you die here, right? Oh, maybe I die here? Here you go. Ah, there you are. Oh, come here. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you right now. oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys in game two. Oh. Hola, mi amigos. I'm back and I'm playing Kronos. I'm finding an honor. Dude, what do you have to do to get a master's border on a god? I'm actually really curious. Because I don't, I don't remember the last time I've seen a master's. Like, which has happened this I know I've, really I've seen one on, um, <clears throat> in conquest, which is crazy. But the thing is, you get, uh, the way you get borders is not based off win rate or how many times you play that god. It's based on the points you have on that god, and points are determined based on your opponent, how high their ranking is, what your team's ranking is, and then if they have a lot of points on the god they're playing versus how many points you have on your god. So, like, there's a lot of thing that, things that go into consideration when they're, like, gaining your points for your border or something. But it is easier to get in Conquest because of, you know, everyone's, uh, everyone's ratings and everyone's god picks and shit like that easier in the sense where like the border is easier to get not the sense that winning enough to get the border is easy because that that could definitely be difficult but um so i've seen a few masters borders in conquest but i haven't really seen any in duel and i think it's just because like once you get well not really me obviously i play chronos a lot but a lot of people once they get like a diamond border on a god they just stop playing him because they're like well i'm already like top five in the world with this god so i don't want to mess it up right and i, I you know I get, it. I get it but for me i'm gonna keep playing chronos every try hard thursday until i have a master's border that being said season 10 comes out in january so if i don't get if I don't get a Vassar's border by January, I think I'm just I'm, I'm just SOL. I do have a lot of diamond borders though. Actually, I have. I think I have a diamond border Hades now. I could be wrong. Maybe I still have a platinum border, but I think I have a diamond border Hades. I have a diamond border Sukiyomi, a diamond border Kronos, um, and then I have like a platinum border on so many gods, like Cupid and. Kali and you know Precisely as was foretold. He's going Devos. Alright. Good old Devourer's Gauntlets. Very, very good item now that they're buffed. Ten base pen does a lot. And uh for those wondering, on her has uh I, I believe it's twenty base penetration. When he hits you, it removes twenty protection from you, right? So you add Devo's Gloves onto that already 20. You're reducing physical protections by 30 in the first, like, three or four minutes of the game, which is crazy. I don't know why I didn't bounce back there. That was weird. All right. I ult this. And then I stay completely unafraid. I don't want him to the wave for free i want him to still still be a little bit scared of me here perfect perfect i, w I was wondering why he wasn't uh why he wasn't backing there he just thought he would live he didn't use the shell he didn't use his alt or anything kind of just kind of just took it once that stun hit him, he was like, well, I'm dead. Which is, it's honestly not bad. But I, I will say, if he ulted, he probably would have lived. 
But if you are in a scenario where you're pretty much guaranteed dead, a lot of people will still like panic use their relic, their 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 shell, their aegis, whatever, to try to get out of that situation. And nine out of ten times, you're dead anyways. So in a lot of situations, it's actually better for you to die and not use that beads or not use that that aegis or not use that shell or something, you know? There's a lot of situations where that's actually better to do to just take the death and keep the cooldown. So you have it up for your next fight. A little uh, helpful tip for some people. I don't know where he is. Doing XP camps or something. Why are you hitting me though? What did I do to you? You lost a lot of HP doing that. I think I'm just gonna grab tower here. I could back and do speed buff and like XP camps and stuff, but hitting tower is better. By the way, if you uh, are ever playing Kronos, you can actually use your two while your auto attack is in the air and your auto attack will be empowered. Look, look, let me show you. I throw and then I two. Oh, I missed. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> Uh, oopsie. What was I saying about a master supporter? Never mind. I understand why I don't have one. <laughs> Hello, best buddy. It's so funny to me that, uh, like, it, it's just, it's so, like, human nature to just go and see what's going on, you know? Like, <laughs> Like that on her, there's no XP over there. Like, well, what's he gonna do over here? Are, there, are you gonna go do Bull Demon? Maybe, sure, but I already got his tower, so it doesn't matter. But uh, he was just peeking around the corner, man. Just hanging out. He knows I already did the XP camp, but he just wanted to, he just wanted to see. He just wanted to check it out for himself, you know? <laughs> A little bit of human nature. That's funny. All right, let's grab this red. I still don't want it. I still want to cool down because... Well, actually, red buff is pretty good on Kronos. I don't know. I just want blue buff because I feel like... Cooldown is so pog. Well, one HP. Clear the wave. Hello, bestie. Hello, bestie. Jump the wall. Yeah. Good you. You do a lot more damage than I do in this situation. Hello. Just speed buff up. Can I have it? Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, almost. Bonk, 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 bonk. Stun, bonk. Damn it. I was so close, dude. Oh, shit. I only had one minion. Oh, God. Ouch. Can I get your... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Dude, I'm losing it today. I feel like... Everything I do is wrong. All my plays I'm making are incorrect. Oh. Another one of those human nature situations. Oh. 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 I'm missing all my auto attacks, but somehow I'm still winning the trade. Hello. Come to me on her. Come to me. Right. Let's 
Let's go get our, our Typhons. There's so much gold. Take a tea sip. I think I will pick up movement speed, actually. It's not damage or cooldown, but when I have so much healing, I feel like <clears throat> getting a little more movement speed so I can get in and out of fights to abuse my lifesteal is pretty good. Oh. You left this for little old me. You shouldn't have. Hello. Alright, that should be a phoenix, because I am Kronos, I do a lot of damage. Should be, should be. I don't know if it will be, but it should be. That was weird. That should have hit me. All right, you're going to ult my stun. You're not going to ult my stun. Do you think you win this fight? Like, just us boxing? You think you come out on top of here? Because I can promise you, you don't. Yeah. yeah there's the jump that we were all expecting. And you're dead. I think I missed. And you're dead. Just kidding, I missed. And you're dead. Like I said, easy. All it took was a little near-death experience for me to actually hit an ability. A little old near-death experience. I'm gonna die. I gotta back. <laughs> um... <clears throat> I'm, honestly, I'm down to go Toxic Blade. It doesn't make my numbies any higher, which is disappointing, but... It does make my fighting potential a bit better. 60% anti-heal. Ow, pow. I really want speed buff again. I might just go red buff, though. All right, I don't want to run all the way back for my speed buff, so I'm just going to grab red. It'll do. I don't have too much power, so I feel like red's kind of useless here, but. Ten percent power, kind of lame-o. Yeah. What's up, bestie? Not my wave. You stop that. Stop that right now, demon. Ouch. Ouch. His impel killed me for zero damage. That's interesting. That is interesting. Um. By the way, just so we all are aware... I definitely trolled that fight. I could have easily won. I could have just ulted when I was in tower or in Titan. Precisely as was for but I'm kind of just, uh, I'm kind of just enjoying myself right now. I'm not really taking things too seriously, but I guess I should. It is try hard Thursday. I guess I should put on the, the pantaloons, the sweat pantaloons, catch some dubs. Back. Okay. Did you or did you not do your blue? I did do your blue. All right. Let's go, Let's go Cap. I'm gonna try hard this fight. Uh 
Alright, I got his ult and I'm full HP still and I use no cooldowns, so. A slight difference between last fight and this fight when I'm actually trying. I want to get out of that as soon as possible. Maybe land an auto attack or two. For zero. I guess that's also plausible. Eventually he's going to have to back because he just doesn't have the HP to fight me and then I'm just going to backdoor it. I've already taken it once. Um, your red's up. You going Kins? Not a bad play. Kins is big damage. I don't actually know if I can win this fight here. Without backing with my power spike. Not even close. That miss. Oh. I cannot believe my three miss. All right, let's go back. And I gotta let. I don't know why he wants to do this. I do want to actually pick up this blue buff because my mana is a little bit shitty. <clears throat> but I don't mind fighting him. I'm quite comfortable with my current fighting potential, actually. Even though I have a lot of gold in hand. Good knockback. Alright, good shoot. Well played, well played. Oh. Alright. I will take that as a win for me. And just leave. My assumption is he does not want to fight because he altered the wave. I assume he backed. There's no reason he would chase that hard for me right here. Uh, I don't have enough gold for both. So I will go Telkines and then tier two and then upgrade my shell a little bit. Oboe. Weird. Weird pickup for the Oboe. I mean, he does want some more clear, I guess. Because having to alt the wave feels really shitty for him, but I don't know. And imagine going oboe also doesn't feel too great. Okay. Can you alt me? Oh, B's down. Perfect. Perfect. Good jump. Alright, now... You either die to me or you lose your phoenix. My mistake. There's actually the option of both, I guess. You want to be greedy like that. Alright. Well. He ended up not doing too bad. In some of those fights. I just think. I got too comfortable trolling. And then I died once. And then I was like okay. Fine I'll win. <laughs> you know like. 
I'll do it myself. All right, GG. Uh, I will see you guys in game number three. All right, boys, welcome back. Game number three. I decided to play a little bit of Kalina. Cause I like Kalina. She's fun. She's interactive. Actually, I don't like the skin. Yeah, let's go this one. Fighting Bologna, Fun Markets. That was the on her. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was the on her from last game. But against the Bologna, I'm not really loving the odds here. I think I might go horrific first item. Or relic, I mean. Or sprint. Just something to get away from him. So horrific. Just use something to get away from him. And, you know, I, I feel like horrific instead of sprint is good because if I, I do somehow you. get, like, kill potential on him, horrific is a way better relic for securing a kill, in my opinion, than sprint is. Sprint is much better to get away, but horrific is much better to be aggressive, I think. But he cleared his one buff. This. Pow. Boom. Boop, boop. My clear is somewhat garbage. On buffs. Takes a little second. But I did out clear him quite a bit. I get level 4 off the first minion. Let's go. And I'm not going to hit these because I want him to lose some XP. Unfortunately, he didn't. Oh, I have fucked this up. All right. All right. Ooh. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Talk about spooky. Who wants to alt me here? I fucked up. He really wants to ult me. Holy shit. You can tell by his movement. Well, I can tell by his movement. Maybe you can't, but I can. <laughs> hmm. Are you actually backing? Huh. That was not something I expected. It was him to actually back just now. I am giving him red, by the way. I, I literally do not care about red at all. I want to start stacking my transcendence as fast as possible. And that requires giving away red buff here. Which is fine for me. And I started with an HP chalice. So. I get pots anyways with my back. So even though I got pretty close to death and I had to use a relic to live, I ended up being okay. I ended up being actually pretty good. Did you not do red yet? Hmm. Okay. I mean, I will keep faking you out. All right. I don't know why he did that. Honestly. He's not winning the fight because he's letting me poke him out. And he's not, uh... Like, securing stuff when he needs to. He So what he needs to do is be a bit more aggressive. Like, right now, he's looking for opportunities like... Oh, Sam's out of position here. I could alt him here. I could poke him out here. He's looking for that kind of stuff when, in reality, what he should be doing is looking at every buff on the map saying, that's mine, that's mine, XP camp, that's mine, minion wave, that's mine, everything is mine. And if he contests me, I will kill him, right? That's what he should be doing. But it, he's giving me too much credit as an early game Kalina versus an early game Bologna. 
Like, I don't know. I don't know why. I can't win a fight. I. <laughs> it's not even close, actually. Uh. But he just assumes that I can, I guess, because of my name. He doesn't have any mana, so I'm chilling here. He can't kill me if he doesn't have the mana for all of his abilities. Alright. Relic for Relic there, except I still have kill potential, so I'm going to rush in. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it. All right, let's back out. I was able to proxy that wave because of the fact that he had no mana and he was still trying to greed for the wave. So I was able to abuse that greed a little bit, which should give me maybe this XP camp and this XP camp. Potentially the red buff, but I don't know. I have a full soul leader, so I am double stacking. So my, uh, because I decided to double stack, obviously my early game is going to be hot fucking garbage, but my mid and late game is going to be incredible. All right. You are stuck doing red. Oh, I lose this. Yeah. Yeah. Unlucky. Not really unlucky, but he calculated it a little bit better than me, so it's not unlucky. I just got outplayed. I want to hit him so the minions group up more towards me here. So he can't just group all six up for him. I think he went for my blue because he heard me. Yeah, he's de he's definitely at my blue. Never let them go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we traded blues, but it's actually better for me because I got the wave and he didn't. He got half of the wave, but I think half of it died. Soul Eater is... Well, it will be halfway stacked after I get this. And now I think we're chilling. Now I think I go... I have options, right? I can go full damage or I can go... Uh, like, really heavy bruiser. I think those are the only two like, good options you have as cleanup. Um, in this case, I think I'd rather go full damage. So what I'm going to do next is go into a I want to say beat stick because he's got a lot of healing because of his three and his chalice but maybe I just go like crusher I want crusher I want hydras I want heart seeker you know the whole shebang you do some decent damage to me but I do decent damage to you too We went pretty even that fight. But now, how even are we? Doesn't look that even anymore, does it? I missed. Red buff is up again. He's not... He's not coming. All right, I'll take it. Red buff is actually exactly what I want on Kleena. I already have 20% cooldown. So I actually could. Okay, here's the thing. If I'm willing to give up Hydras, then I go Jotun's here. Unfortunately, and I think perhaps a misplay that I'm doing is I'm not willing to give up Hydra's. I think Hydra's is too much damage. 
I think maybe the best play is going Jotun's here because I'm fighting a Bologna, so Hydras might not do as much because block stacks exist. Which is why I think, like I said, maybe I'm making the wrong play here, but I don't know. I'm going to stick to the guts. Stick to the guts. He wants his blue. Why does he want his blue more than he wants mine? I don't know. I feel like if you have the option between getting their buff or getting your buff, you always go for theirs because theirs is harder to contest, right? If if they go for your buff, you can always like play in and out of your tower and poke over the wall and you know shit like that. But if they're invading your buff, like like if I'm here and he's defending, he can do a lot of nasty shit to me. So he might as well Go for mine, and if I start doing nasty shit, then he just... Alright, fine. We'll trade then. And then he'll go do his. So I think you always invade the buff if you have the opportunity. Unless you have like 100 HP, and then say, it's my... Don't say it's my fault, because I said, if you have the opportunity. If you're healthy and you think you can do it. <laughs> don't send me a picture of you dying at blue buff. And then f 6 and losing 100 MMR and say, this was your teaching. Don't you dare. <laughs> that is not my teaching. All right, next item. Like I said, Hydras, I've been saying it all day. Such a good item. That's 10% pen. I, I really think they didn't need to give it pen. Like, 10% cooldown, the power and the MP5 was good enough. But now that it has 10% pen on it, it's like a must-buy on every god. Like every physical god you just buy Hydras. So OP, dude. Okay, oh, I just dumped on him. Jeez Louise. Oh, I missed. How much does my three? Do? Eh, it doesn't. I don't need to look. Hello. Hit him with that, and then we juke around. He can't see me. Are you, ha are you half HP? You are half HP. Oh. Oh, he missed the alt. He loses tower for that. If I didn't stop his back, he would have been fine. Stopping his back gives me tower. It might actually give me Phoenix, though. Hold on. That's the most insane part of this. Shit. <laughs> I was trying to, I thought he was going to run away, but he didn't. Oops. No, 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 no. Into the wall I go. Into the wall I go. If 4k gold. He doesn't have all right. He has alt, I die here. That would be cringe. Um, I think I have to ult this wave, right? Wait, did I already clear the wave? Damn, I'm better than I thought I was. All right, let's go high just now. And now we go into Heartseeker, and then last item we'll go into Titan's Bane. And this is pretty much what I've been doing. This is like more, the more generic. If I pick a jungler and I want to kill people, this is what I do in Conquest. Like... I normally don't double stack. I don't go soul leader, but I'll go like instead of soul leader, I'll have boombas. And then you just go like crusher, hydras, heart seeker, and titan's bane. And you just do so much damage. And that's what I've been doing. And it's been working so well. <laughs> I had a game yesterday where we were in like a GM lobby where everyone was like 3k MMR. I picked Robin and I went like 25 and 4 or 25 and 5 or something and just pumped all of the numbies all right you're alting away oh you up down me bro the disrespect 
the disrespect, the up down at 7 HP. All right. I do incredibly high damage. And I don't even have Titans Vein yet. I will probably die here. No, I won't. The Titan dies so fast. My God, I do so much damage. 13 auto attacks did 3,600 damage. That's an average of over 300 damage in auto. Okay. I didn't even have Heartseeker or Titans. Anyways, uh, that was game three. I'm 3,300 MMR now, Pog. Let's go into game four. <clears throat> What's up, boys? This will be game number four. Four or five, I actually don't think... Ah, no, it's game four. I remember, it's game four. It will be the last game of the video. We're an hour into the recording, which means after this, we'll be about an hour and 20 minutes in. Unless it's a fiver, which, you know, would be sad. He banned really good gods, which makes me think he's a really good player, which makes me think I should play someone that's good. But also, I want to play Anubis. So, you know. I, I like Anubis a lot. I don't think he's actually... um. I don't think he's actually that good, if I'm honest, anymore, because anti-heal is so prevalent. Phys well, physical gods are so prevalent, and physical gods have a very easy time getting 100% anti-heal. Magical gods, on the other hand, I'm fighting a Hebo, so it's going to be harder for the Hebo to do what a, what a hunter could do. But magical gods, like I said, on the other hand, are going to have a really hard time getting to that 100% anti-heal mark, because all they have is divine... And Pestilence. So they're going to have to go into... I mean, they can get Toxic Blade, right? But most mages don't want to get Toxic Blade. So... Uh, he's going to have to go into Ankh, probably. But I will say, if he Ankhs me, that the one that has the little puddle under it... Um, if he Ankhs me while I'm ulting, it's going to hurt. It will hurt a lot. Actually, hold on. I might be lying straight to your face. Let me let me see this. Hold on. Uh, relic. This one. This one. Enemies that are healed by god abilities. Yeah, so that, that won't even affect me. Upgrading Ankh to, to the Drowned Ankh actually won't affect me. This one is 60% anti-heal. And it heals him. So he'll probably go this Ankh if he does go an Ankh. And they take 20% more damage. If they're healed. I won't be healed, so that 20% more damage won't actually affect me, but... I didn't actually know that last part. The 20% more damage part. My guess is we're both just starting blue and then going the wave. Yeah, I see him doing his blue. I'm surprised I cleared it faster than a Hebo, though. Hello. So one great thing about Anubis is you can kind of be really oppressive on wave 1 because... You clear with one ability, so you don't need to use... Like, you can use your three and your stun on them, and then just one the wave. And it actually works out for you. I think you die here if you uh, go for the last hits. You're not. Okay, good. He's going Book of Thoth. Which means mucho damage once he gets that online. But, I, I mean, it's... What everyone expects against a Hebo. If you get ulted and the ult doesn't hit you for at least a thousand, then the person that ulted you as Hebo is doing it wrong. Like, it, like that Hebo ult is supposed to kill you. If you don't Aegis it, that is. And even sometimes if you Aegis, you know what I mean? Alright. I think you die here. You do have beads, but I do a lot of damage. Alright. I missed my rap so he doesn't think that he dies, but, uh... Oh, no shot. You live with one HP. Unlucky. Unlucky. That one, that one hurts. That one sucks. I feel like he definitely should have died there. But I, I guess I missed a lot of my ult, huh? I only hit 19 ticks of it. Red buff is coming up. I'm 300 gold ahead. 
But I don't have ult, and he does have ult. So that's the kind of, like... Like, I think even being ahead, I lose this fight. He has no stacks on his Book of Thought, though. Keep that in mind. That might be important. And if you're not coming over here... Okay. Gave me red. I don't agree with that. I don't think he should have. Oh, you are low, my dude. You're gonna all through me. And die. Okay. <clears throat> all through me and die. I'm gonna corner him here. He does have beads, but if I slow it down a bit, he might die anyways. Nice. Perfect. Massive corner that gets me his blue buff probably and gets me my blue buff. Not to mention the lead of actually getting the kill itself. So I that's a pretty massive, massive lead for me there. And we got his beads off that kill too, which means that my next ult, if I land a wrap, guarantees kills him. Guaranteed to kill. I will go divine here. Actually, no, I won't. That's stupid. I was gonna say I will go divine even though he doesn't have any life steal because I know he will get life steal. But I can go divine much later in my build. I don't need it immediately. And Typhons immediately gives me a lot of power, so I'd much rather have Typhons. Hello. You have no beads, so you actually die to a 3-1 combo if I grab you, but I suck, so. <laughs> you do damage, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I see the numbies you're pumping. But my dude, they are not good enough. Ow. All right. All right. That was pretty close. Thank God for life steal. But this is going pretty much exactly how I expected it. So far. I just don't think mages can deal with the Nubis. Oh, I'm garbage. Unlucky. Oh, Jesus. I almost died. Phoenix had a... Had a second bolt coming for me so fast. Yeah, I think going a mage and not going Bancroft's first item is kind of trolling. Unless... Well, that's not true. I really like Book of Thought's first item, too. I just feel like Hebo needs life steal because he has to be so up close and personal all the time so you can't really not go life steal on him are you gonna kill me very angry I missed. I mean, you could kill me now, maybe. Never mind. You 3 1 altered me, and I left with as much HP as I started with. <laughs> I don't think my alt 100 to 0 is him, so there's no point in using it. I just want to clear the wave. could stop my back but I'd imagine it wouldn't do much for you so there's no need to and I will start into a divine now or not a divine uh sorry spear now and with blink he does have beads but I think with Typhon's Bancroft's claw 
I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him through his beads and everything. The blink just adds a little bit of spice on top, you know. Where are you? Ouch. He's not even coming over here, man. Damn it. I can't do that. Dude, does he have Emperor's armor? Why does that thing attack me so fast? What the hell? I stepped in for half a millisecond and got hit by two Phoenix hits. Can I just see if this kills you, please? Damn it. Okay. I definitely could have killed him. But, uh, that beads. But at least I know now how good my damage is. Which is great. And the fact that he doesn't have beads. And the fact that I can go get my spear after I clear this red. Okay. A little overestimation on my part. I can get my spear after I clear this XP camp. That adds so much damage, man. Going divine now. He has already got pestilence. This is exactly like I said in the very beginning of the game, 10 minutes ago. He's not a physical god, so he he's just not as scary. That anti heal is not going to hit as hard as it would on a hunter. I wonder if they're ever going to make, well, honestly, they should already have like a soul reaver kind of effect, but with anti-heal on it, like, like toxic blade where you get that 20% anti-heal, but it procs off of abilities so that, you know, gods like Hebo and Merlin and, and even Anubis, if you go max cooldown, Vulcan, Poseidon, like people that can spam their cooldowns so fast, they have better anti heal than just 40%. Because it really is kind of fucked up that hunters have 100% anti heal so easily while getting so much like good stats off of it. Alright, you're gonna ult me for my wave. Fine. Doesn't matter. I annoyed him enough to where he stopped his back a few times. I just wanted to get his speed buff. Wasn't going to like back doors tighten or anything. I just wanted a little something extra than just the Phoenix. Your blue buff is down, I assume. Oh, I missed Bro, you just ate my entire one. You almost died based off like residual damage from standing in the wave. Cannot be doing that. Is he going to ult this? There it is. There it is. He ulted through. He died. 
He surrendered. I didn't even know he surrendered. I thought the Titan just died because it had like 200 HP left. All right. Good game. Good try art Thursday. Should still be a little bit over an hour long after I cut off the queue times. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we are 3326 right now. Probably not top 10 in the world. All the 3,500 people are are rank one in my opinion. So like one through eight, all rank one because they're all MMR capped, right? So like two, three, four. Technically, I guess we're number four in the world. All the MMR capped people are one and then two, three, four. All right. That's not bad. I'll take I'll take number four in the world at the end of a try hard video. Um, like I said, I hope you guys appreciated it. If you liked it, if you did like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace.